This is Nafiz here uh, from Wamda with the one and only Keith Farazi, master networker, author of uh, Never Eat Alone. And I mean, just from our numbers, we know that this is by far one of the most popular pieces on uh, the Wamda website. So that actually brings us to the first question, Keith. So what do you think it is about the way you talk about building a network that makes it so appealing, that helps people really connect with it so readily? Well, I'd say there's three things. The most important thing that I think made the book successful was how rich it is in storytelling. Stories are emotional transportation. When when you sat in the first chapter of Never Eat Alone and were with me and how insecure and challenged I felt in those seats at Harvard Business School, um, you empathized and you could understand where I came from. I think the other issue is we're very practical. Um, you know, to me, my goal in life is to help your audience be more successful. And I want them not to just hear about generalities or principles. I want them to hear about practices and tactics and tips. The whole book is filled with very specific things to do. And then I'd say the third thing, um, your audience is predominantly Middle East and Africa. That's a region I love. I love that region of the world because it's a very tribal region. It's, in fact, many people accuse um, me in, 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 in trying to teach people to be more Italian. Um, Americans happen to be one of the most transactional cultures in the world. We, as, as Americans, they, they bound in. I happen to be both an American and an Italian citizen. But they bound into a room with a lot of uh, social familiarity. They won't really go deep. And in fact, they transact very quickly. Whereas the further east you go, particularly in the Middle East, you must build a relationship before you do business. It's a crucial element, that, that element of the, the, the curation of trust and relationship. So I think that my principles, because I'm talking about networking, not from the perspective of an American transactional, let's figure out how I can use you and you use me. I've got a very different perspective. It's an authentic, relational, generous, intimate view of how to actually succeed. And I think that resonates very well in your part of the world.